Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So uh, if we have t to the power of 4 and its whole square root is equal to 4 to the power of 4 and its whole square root and we solve this problem for the values of t. So I hope so you like this method but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. So now uh, here first you see that we have a square root is lies on both of the sides. So first we need to remove this square root sign on both of the sides. Uh, so that for eliminate the square root on both of the sides uh, we need to take the scaling on both of the sides. So when we take scaling it will be written as t to the power of 4 and its whole square root and its whole square is equals to 4 to the power of 4 and its whole square root and its whole square. So when we take scaling on both of the sides you see here this two and this square root are gone and we get here in the left hand side is t to the power of 4 is equals to this two and this square root are also gone and we get here 4 to the power of 4. And now here in the next step uh, you see here uh, this equation will become a fourth order equation and we can solve this problem for all the four roots of the given equation. So first we move 4 to the power of 4 in the left hand side. Uh, so uh, also we rewrite this equation as this is t to the power of 4 and we write it as t square and its whole square minus we write 4 to the power of 4 as 4 square and its whole square and this whole equation equals to 0. And here we apply the algebraic formula. You know that if we have a square minus b square equals to a minus b times of a plus b. So according to this formula we can write the above equation as first you have a minus b the value of a is t square minus value of b is 4 square into a plus b the value of a is t square plus value of b is 4 square and this whole equation equals to 0. And now we divide this equation into the two cases. The first case is we write t square minus 4 square equals to 0 and the second case is we write t square uh, t square plus 4 square equals to 0. So from first case we again apply here the above formula and we write this equation as t minus 4 times of t plus 4 and this whole equation equals to 0 and uh, in this case uh, we need to move uh, this plus 4 square to the right hand side and it will be written as t square is equals to minus 4 square. So now uh, in this case we divide this case also into the two cases. The first case is we write t minus 4 equals to 0. The second case is we write t plus 4 equals to 0. And here we have this is this will be copied down here and now first we can find the values of t from these two cases. Uh, so this from this case we get the value of t is equal to this is minus 4 when we move in the right hand side it will becomes plus 4. And uh, when we move this plus 4 to the right hand side it will becomes minus 4. So these are the two real roots of the given equation which we get here from first case. And now we find the other roots of this equation uh, from second case. And now here uh, from this case uh, because we find the values of t uh, so that we need to remove this uh, square sign from left hand side. Uh, so for this we will take a square root on both of the sides. So when we will take square root it will be written as t square and its whole square root into square root of minus 4 square and you see here this 2 and this square root are gone and we get here in the left hand side is t is equals to in the right hand side we break this square root on both of these terms uh, it will be written as square root of 4 square into square root of minus 1. 
so here uh, we know that when we will take square root on both of the sides then you can uh, write the plus minus sign any one of the sides so here i can write the plus minus sign in right hand side and you see here this two and this square root are gone we will get here four and we know that square root of minus one is equals to iota so these are the other two complex roots of the given equation so finally we have the four roots of the given equation are t1 equals to 4 t2 is equals to minus 4 t3 is equals to here we choose the positive value it is uh, 4 iota and t4 is equals to minus 4 iota so these are the total four roots of the given equation and this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos